Now there are certain things that we need to work on. First of all, we need our vassals to like us. All of them. Can't have a single one being unhappy with us. There are several who deserve a position in our council who don't have one yet. So those are easily appeased and we'll take care of those first. So our steward shall be kicked out for our kinsman, the Viceroy of Italy. Since he is not a strong vassal. I sadly do not have an advisor slot that I could fill. So, can't be helped. But we are definitely going to go for carousing for the moment. To go make some friends. We need all our dukes and everyone to be on their best. So this man, we need to get on our side. Uh, bu -bu -bum. Could have a private conversation with him. We shall start swaying him. We cannot invite him carousing as he is at war. I believe that's the reason. Let's find those with the lower, lowest opinion of us. At least of rank. And to invite them carousing. We will need to make friends. The rebellious leaders we don't really need to take care of. Ah. Uh, why can't I invite you carousing? Ah, uh, he's busy doing something. Well, this man, maybe. Good. It's looking fairly okay. We're looking, of course, to change to Primo Genitura. So we need centralized, reigning for 10 years, and no count higher. The vassals not fighting each other, I'm, I'm sure we can take care of somehow. I believe we can't invoke realm peace anymore. Due to our council not doing anything. But we'll find a moment where we can force everyone to do what we need them to do. Yes, let's get to know each other a little bit better. Or we might even become lovers. He's greedy, not lustful. So... I believe it might not work out with him becoming our lover. Let's get to know each other a little bit better. Fine, have papal investiture. I don't care. And we will have an extravagant... Ceremony. Oh. Spending all the money. Good. People are starting to join us for the carousing. Very good indeed. In the end, we could always, you know, get rid of people. If the need arises. Okay, someone is picking a fight with us. Let us avoid such an event. Organizing such a great ceremony has given me the chance to know better some of my vassals. Maintaining healthy relationships with all my subjects is fundamental to ensure the future stability and prosperity of my realm. Bishop Trengis in particular seems like a man I could really trust. Is he? After all, he's just deceitful and a craven. Definitely a trust trustworthy fellow. Let us become friends regardless. As I said, we need all the friends we can have in these trying times. Very good. 
I kneel before Pope Callistus Vaz. No, not Callistus Vaz, but Pope Callistus V. As a host of electors and vassals surround us in complete silence, the Pope blesses me as he prepares himself to place the imperial crown upon my head and proclaim me Emperor of the Romans by grace of God and protector of all of Christendom. So, vassal opinion plus 10. For 20 years. And we get a cool crown there. Cool crown indeed. Have we killed anyone yet? Speaking of which... Prisoners? Nobody of consequence. We definitely don't want to lead any troops ourselves. That is 100% certain not going to happen. Oh, a daughter was born to us. Lovely. Our friend shall be our court dwarf. Give us plus 10 opinion. Very good. So we have our very own Tyrion here at the court. Positions, all is fine, all is dandy. Let's find some fitting matches here around the age of eight. Attractive. There's someone who's quick. Let's see, maybe we find something really good around here. Tool. Ah, three-year-old strong kid. Ah, we, we'd rather go with a quick bastard. There we go. And her, our dear lovely little daughter. Who shall you marry? Okay, what we could do, or what we rather are going to do, is we'll check our realm tree. Check who's the strongest of them all. Our Viceroy of Italy. And the King of Austrasia. Let's see if we can't have a betrothal. Yeah, very good. Very good indeed. Oh, he's even agreeing to matrilineal, which doesn't really matter since... We're both of the same dynasty. But let's do that. Alright, let's start our feast. Why does everyone like us so much though? We honored a good ruler. Oh yeah. Have a decent bunch of... Very good... Modifiers here. God damn. So King Coleman, the bold and we become best friends. Good. I believe he's one of the true kings actually. King of Alba, yeah. This minor event would be a dull affair, but Countess Kiar of Benum just brushed her bosom against me. Again? Is she flirting with me? That was definitely a wink. This is getting more interesting by the minute. Oh yeah, that's that's encourage her. As the festivities wind down, Gyar takes my hand and looks into my eyes. My lord, will you escort me to my chambers? Are you any decent? Oh! Bye. Yeah, let's... Let's succumb to sweet temptation and just hope we don't catch the lover's pox. 
The reveling and carousing is over for now. Time to get back to real life. Ooh, we have a chance to lose, lose either of these terrible things we got going on. Aha! We're no longer stressed. Goody. Word of the, lav of the lavish period of celebration has surrounded my coronation has spread across the realm and beyond. My name will forever be associated with prestige and wealth. Good. Good, good, good. Not so good. Now we have the lover's pox. Whoopsie. Sorry, my dear wife. Sorry. Duchess Adela. You are in the electorate, are you not? And you generally vote against my stuff. Do you not? Where is she? There she is. Shame! You gotta burn at the stake? Oh god. I think the guy following her he likes my guy even less. I don't... I don't care about weird kids I'm warding. What? Let's give you some guardian. I don't... I don't care. Okay. Let's, uh... Try to sway our kinsmen through talking about God. I'm sure that's going to go over well. Ah, yes. It actually did work. Very good. So now let's turn our... Ah! This is mine! Give it back! Let's just... Oh no. He gave away most of the baronies. Want those back? Can I get those baronies, please? Revoke barony. Come on. No, I don't want to... God damn it. Ay, 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 ay. I lost so much in this transition. It was a terrible choice all around. Well, at least I don't have to spend so much money anymore on things because I don't have anything to spend them on. The coins, that is. Oh, well. All right. Ah, let's check our people there. Go research cultural tech. And we need to check where legalism is strongest. Still over here where we still got our spy master researching. So very good. We're pretty close anyway. Let's give our unhappy kinsman a few more titles here. Or tutor, can't be him. Make him a commander, he's not good by any means. But he's better than this guy, or equally as terrible. I think people being viceroys themselves shouldn't have a negative opinion of vice royalties. They really shouldn't. Let's have a private conversation with him. We'll need to work. Aha! That really impressed him. Not for long, though. I mean, we still have some time ahead of us, but 
We'd rather take care of it as quickly as we can. Where are you? My rival. Don't care. The assassins don't seem to be talking to us. Okay then. I mean, we still have some holdings down here as well. Not a lot, but some. All right, we have a little child that her dad thinks is his. Lucky us. As I snuck into the kitchen for my usual night snack, I chanced upon Countess Yar. We have been chatting and laughing for hours, but now the words have grown softer and our hands are touching. Suddenly, she leans in and whispers softly in my ear. Is she a direct vassal of ours? If so, we need to make sure that she likes us well. Does not seem to be so. So let us reject her and her advances. It should be able to carouse again. But he is, of course, fighting again. What is he doing? Oh, I'm not at peace. Alright. I'm helping against the prepared invasion over there. Okay, let's get some troops up. I think the guy who hates us is a commander. Yes, he is. And so he shall go lead troops. And maybe stop his silly notions of hatred towards us. Our court chaplain died. Let's get another loyalist in here. Ah, yes. Ah, yes. He's telling us about the assassins. I am Suleiman, and this there away. Me, an assassin? Perhaps this is my destiny. My eyes open seeing only darkness. For a moment my mind is blank before the first thoughts get through the haze of sleep. Why did I wake up? A deep man's voice cuts through the silence, startling me. The time has come for you to profess your devoutness to Allah and the rightful Imam Ali. Um, I will carry out Allah's wishes in secret, no matter... The risk, we are not, uh, yeah, we're not converting to Islam. All right. Excellent. I turn my head towards the voice. A hooded figure steps out of the shadows by the door, and a hand appears from underneath the cloak, holding out a piece of parchment. Before we continue, you must sign this. A written pledge of allegiance to the Grand Master of the Assassin's Serotine Safety Measure. Yes, let me find the quill. As soon as I lift the tip of the quill from the parchment, the hooded man snatches it from the desk. 
The Grandmaster will be pleased, Emperor Melkolium. You will receive an invitation to your stronghold, but for now, go back to bed. You will need the rest at the next moment. He is gone. Whoops, that was no longer him talking. I missed that. Yeah, well, I suppose... Uh... Oh, no. No, don't beat him without me. My troops need to have a chance of dying. What? Ah, yes. Salam. Salmas. Salmas in the stronghold we're supposed to go to. I am ready to serve, propagandist. Tell me what needs to be done. There's no time for pleasantries, not even a moment to catch my breath before propagandist Kundach leads me through another door, down a spiraling stone staircase. We descend in silence, the stair ends and the propagandist opens a door, revealing a gloomy basement, room and a figure kneeling on the floor. Who, who is that? Oh no, not my friend. My friend, let's pay so we don't have to kill him. Ah, we picked the wrong core chaplain. The look on propagandist Kundach's face is pure disappointment. We had high hopes for you, Melkolium, although it seems we were mistaken. I swallow loudly. This cowardice makes you useless to us. You're gold on the other hand. Right, okay, we got out away from the assassins. So I think after our little dalliance here, we should go a different route. Let's go for the Hermetic Society. And select a new apprentice. Ah, oh. how does this change? Opinion plus ten. So he shall be our apprentice, and our court chaplain shall be this man. Oh, he's loyal too. Very good. Go we'll research cultural tech, please. I don't believe it actually improves the rate of generating cultural technology. Well, let's check our hospital, actually. Maybe there's something we built there. No. There is not, sadly. Right, okay. We have inherited the county of Ross. Ah, where is the county of Ross? Up there is the county of Ross. Let's have him have it. We don't care for it. And it is in his realm. Taking care of that. Well done, us.